Now we can define rotational velocity. Remember from kinematics that speed is equal to distance divided by time. For an object moving in a circle, we don't use time, we use the period, which is the time it takes to travel once around the circle. So then we need to know the distance around the circle. Do you remember what the circumference of a circle is? The circumference of a circle is given by 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the circle. The period is given by a capital T, so since speed is distance divided by time, the distance is 2 pi r divided by the time, which is the period, so the magnitude of the velocity, which is the speed, is equal to 2 pi r divided by the period. Remember that velocity is a vector, which means that it has both a magnitude and a direction. The magnitude is given by the equation 2 pi r over t. But what's the direction? So for an object moving in a circular path, we call the direction of the velocity at any given point tangent to the circle. So for instance, if there's an object at the top of this path, the velocity would be towards the right. If it was here at the right, the velocity would be towards the bottom. If it was here at the bottom, the velocity would be towards the left. And if it was here at the left, the velocity would be towards the top. So these directions of the velocity are always tangent to the circle.